Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 3 assignment of the course Introduction to Machine Learning. So let's see the first question guys. For a two class problem using discriminant functions, where is the separating hyperline, hyper uh, plane located? So for first question, third option is the probable solution guys. So where discriminant function for class 1 equals to class 2. Guys, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel. Definitely like the video. Then only our videos will reach more number of students. And please share this with your friends and classmates, guys. For the past 5 to 6 years, we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses. I hope for this assignment, almost all solutions are 100% correct. We believe in that. If you want to suggest any other changes, you can please do that in the comment section. If we want to change any solution, we will definitely update that in the comment section also from our end. But I think almost all solutions are 100% correct, guys. Now let's see the second question. Given the following data set consisting of two classes A and B, calculate the prior probability of each class. So for second question, second option is the probable solution guys. P of A equals 0 0.625 and the remaining possibility is 0 0.375 for P of B. So the probability of class A is 0 0.625 and probability of class B is 0 0.375. Second option is the probable solution. Guys, don't skip the video. Please watch full video. If you skip the video and if I make any changes, you cannot be able to note, the, note that down, right? So please watch full video without skipping. Next, third question. In a three class classification problem using linear regression, the output vectors for three data points are 0 0.8, 0 0.3, minus 0 0.1 and next one, next vector, next data point, 0 0.2, 0 0.6 and 0 0.2, next, it will be minus 0 0.1, 0 0.4 and 0 0.7. So, to which classes would this point to be assigned? So, for third question, fourth option, 1, comma 2, comma 3. So, this is the correct solution guys. Next, fourth question. If you have a 5 class classification problem and want to avoid ma masking using polynomial regression, what is the minimum degree of polynomial you should use? So, for fourth question, option B, I mean second option, 4 is the probable solution guys. Next, moving on to the fifth question. I want to zoom this for you, for your better visibility. So, the predicted probability of a given data point is 0 0.4. Next, actual label for this data point is 1. What is the contribution of this data point to the log, likely, log likelihood? So, for fifth question, second option is the probable solution, guys. Minus 0 0.9163. So, second option is the probable solution for fifth question. Next, moving on to the sixth one. So, before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So, that is regarding exam preparation MCQs for the course introduction to machine learning. With five to six years of NPTEL experience, we are providing this. Here, you are going to get a huge number of 600 plus MCQs, guys. 600 plus past NPTEL assignment MCQs along with explanations provided for many questions. 600 plus MCQs. You will get that in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. 600 plus MCQs up to 5 persons the price will be 500 rupees guys. 600 plus MCQs along with detailed explanations for many questions. Not all the questions but for many questions. So 600 plus MCQs up to 5 persons can be used uh, use that. PDF for just 500 rupees only. You will get that in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. Validity will be till the exam results day. So no need to worry about the validity. Search option is provided. So to search, easily search any question you want. Where you have stopped previously. Easy to revise and high syllabus will be covered. So mail me to this email ID guys. bk179417 at the red gmail.com Mail me to this email ID if you are confirmed to make the purchase. Already many students and even professors 
of various universities have taken the pack from us guys so mail me to this email id to know the payment procedure so please share this news with your friends and classmates one person from the group form a group guys with your classmates from form separate groups of 2 to 5 persons I mean up to 5 persons so one person from that five member group mail me to this email id bk1794178 at gmail.com to know the payment procedure right already many students and even pros professors have also taken our pack guys so please discuss this with your friends in your whatsapp student groups so take it now itself because uh, that syllabus is very high so you have to take it now itself and prepare from now itself so that you can get more time to prepare at the end i mean revise you can get more revision time if you take it now itself and prepare so that's it guys so mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase already many students have taken this pack now let's get back to the solutions so sixth question additional assumption does lda make about the covariance matrix in comparison to the so they are asking what additional assumption so for sixth question options three guys the covariance matrix is the same for all classes next question seventh one what is the shape of the decision boundary in lda so for seventh question second option linear is the probable solution guys linear next eighth question eighth question for two classes c1 and c2 with within class variances these two respectively if the projected means are mu1 equal to 1 and mu2 equal to 3 what is the fisher criterion j of w so for eighth question second option 0.8 is the probable solution guys and moving on to the last question of the assignment eighth uh, ninth one given two classes c1 and c2 with mu1 and mu2 respectively what is the direction vector w for lda when within the cla within class covariance matrix sw is the identity matrix i so for last question of the assignment the ninth question fourth option is the probable solution guys 0.6 0.8 so friends these are the most probable solutions for week 3 assignment of the course introduction to machine learning hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 600 plus mcqs pack guys you'll get that in a google drive pdf restricted link up to 5 percent the price is 500 rupees from 1 percent to 5 percent the price is same 500 rupees bk179417 at the red gmail.com so mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase guys already many students and even professors have also taken our pack explanations are provided detailed explanations provided for many questions access will be valid till the exam results day guys so huge validity will be provided search option is also provided high syllabus will be covered and it is also easy to revise if you take it now itself so mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase guys so one person can take the lead from uh, all the group and mail me to this email id right so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this and please share this news and please discuss this with your friends and classmates in your whatsapp groups so until the next video good